We developed a device called the Light Sound that essentially takes light and converts it to sound as a tool for the blind and visually impaired. April 8th is the total solar eclipse. We're going to have these devices all along the path so people can experience it with sound. There's a light sensor on the back, so essentially it's measuring the brightness of light as it changes during the eclipse, as the moon eclipses the sun. What does that say? So it says light sound at the top, and then for the USB port, it says USB. There's a P for power. I actually have this memory of feeling a little bit resentful <laughs> that I couldn't be a part of this eclipse in some way. In 2017, I just distinctly remember feeling really left out. Even though we can't see something, it doesn't mean that we can't experience something. Um, you know, we have a lot of different senses, and just because it's different doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. This is so cool. Just a few steps to building the devices. We just have three components that we solder on, a light sensor, a MIDI board, which is where we uh, assign the sounds, and then the, the main microcontroller board where the code sits. And once you solder that on, then we're ready to do a sound check. So he hear music. And then we get to put them back in the case. So we pick out a case of your choice, and then it's essentially ready to go. So one option, you can hook this up to a speaker, and then you can project the sound to an entire group. So we can kind of, as the sun is changing, this would be like the bright light of the sun. And then as it starts to dim, it goes away and the sound kind of gets lower. And then the shadow comes in and it gets even lower and starts clicking. Okay, yeah, well, I'm very surprised. <laughs> I don't know what I was imagining, but I wasn't imagining this. Very interesting. It's going to be inclusive and having any technology that makes it possible for us to have an experience, an actual experience rather than somebody simply describing it to us is always fantastic. I had this dream of being the first blind astronaut in space. Um, I went to space camp several times when I was a teenager. I think when I got older though I just realize like being a scientist is really hard. Being a blind scientist is even more challenging because of the lack of accessibility, the lack of tools that are out there. I'm very excited about it. I'm definitely going to be a part of it this year.